we're gonna stick with our topic that we've been talking about, like, mm -hmm. which is the uh, the identity theft and yes. the controversy uh, surrounding that whole topic. We've been sharing about with um, what happened with our brother Kyrie Irving and um, other <coughs> celebrities that seemingly um, jumping into this troop that these brothers have been in very a very seasoned in it. And um, could we just get a little history of, of um, your organization, how it started, mm -hmm. and, and, and what, what you guys are all about? So Israel United in Christ was started by Bishop, Bishop Nathaniel in 2003. And as you see, as you see over the years, we had the, the, this truth, this organization has just grown due to the truth going out and the most high blessing this congregation for one primary thing because we push keeping God's laws. Our aim and goal as, a, as an organization is to go to our people, the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American, and show them who they are in the Bible and show them that they, it's time that they repent and keep God's laws because we've tried everything under the sun to, to change our conditions and nothing's worked. We've right. marched. We went to the Christian church. A lot of us went to the Muslim mosque, but yet when you go in our communities, you still see the same murder, crime, baby mama drama, single parent households. None of those things are changing, but the one thing that we have not done was actually open the Bible and keep God's laws. That's what we have not applied. So our aim and goal is to open our people's eyes, show our people the truth of God's law. Show them mm -hmm. that the Bible is our solution right. to our problems. Mm -hmm. Just recently, at, um, when Kyrie Irvin that we spoke about, um, when he, if those of you listening who probably don't know the controversy that was surrounding uh, Kyrie Irvin situation, he he tweeted um, uh, a documentary that got him in a bunch of trouble with uh, a certain community, and. Um, they claimed that he was anti-Semitic, and, and, and you know they suspended him. They had him, you know, doing all these, jumping over these loops and 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 obstacles to get, you know, his his um get back to playing, you know. But he was not. He was initially, I think, suspended for just a few games, right? But then it extended. But somehow he was able to um play again. Mm -hmm. And the first day back, he had some brothers. Um, that surrounded the the, the the stadium with um, the Barclays, Barclays Center, Center yeah. where they play with um, the uh, team that he played for, which is the Brooklyn Nets, play. And um, who was those guys? I mean, those guys was us. You seen oh, the purple and gold. You seen the purple and gold. We went out there to to show that because um, the thing that Kyrie Kyrie Irving all he did was tweet the Hebrews to Negroes. Mm -hmm. So our aim is, he, he uh, said that he was back with, he made the statements, he was back with an army, things like that. Our goal was to go out there, just like I said in our introduction, our goal is to go out there and teach God's laws, show forth that what he said right. was in the Bible, was biblical. And then what you see, with even with Kyrie Irving, you had Ye, with them posting those things, those, those, they have, what, over billions of followers. So get uh, Psalms eighty-five and eleven real quick. So what we what we're witnessing is the truth is the truth is being brought out in the, in a the, uh, grand spectrum now, way more than what it was then. And now you see these uh, celebrities that have millions of followers, billions of followers. They're tweeting it, and this is what this is what you see going on. This is the Book of Psalms, chapter eighty-five and verse eleven. Truth shall spring out of the earth. And righteousness shall look down from the heaven. <clears throat> so truth, what you see is truth springing out of the earth. Because we've been teaching for years. In Chicago, we've been there eight, nine years teaching the word. And when people see us teaching it, a lot of people, ah, whatever. But now you see you, you have these big, yeah. big, big time celebrities right. saying it. And it's, it's putting that, man, it's, that's what these guys been on the streets saying. They've been on the streets for, for years saying this and I didn't listen to it, but now it's coming from the, the, this uh, Kyrie Irving. It's coming from Ye. Hey, something now, it's, it's something must be up to it because we've received a lot of phone calls behind it. It was kind of funny, uh, or for lack of a better word, that he said in, his, uh, in one of those interviews, Kyrie Irving said and, um, that I have an army behind me. Right. And some people thought, like, okay, well, he was part of IUIC and he had some kind of foreknowledge that you guys would want to be there. No. Is that true? No, he didn't have any. We, our, 
our leadership, we we haven't we haven't spoke with Kylie Kyrie Irving directly. So he's not with us, and we haven't spoken with him. So us going out there, get that in Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter thirty-seven. Okay. Book of Ezekiel chapter thirty-seven in the seventh verse. <clears throat> so I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking. And bones came together, bone to his bone. So what we're reading here is the is this is this is symbolic of the nation of Israel waking up of out, of, out of our dead estate, coming out of the Christian church, coming out of the streets selling drugs, coming out of those various things. This is us, the the word of God being taught to us, and we're responding to it. We're waking up like, oh man, this is this is my this is my book. This is me in this book. Read verse eight, and when I beheld, lo. The sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. So we we coming to learn that this is this is us, but yet but there's no breath in them. That breath in them is referring to God's laws. We under we come in conscious that we are the people of the book, that we are a greater people, but we haven't we we have not yet learned the laws. Read. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God. Uh huh. Come, that's us going out and teaching to the teaching in the streets. Read. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. And this is this is us teaching on the streets, even when, when us going out there at Barclays. Well, we did. We went out there and taught God's laws. Why? Because our people are there. There was it was millions of our people there to see that game. So that's our purpose for being out there, so that our people can get. The understanding of what what Kyrie Irving person about right. Hebrews to Negroes, mm -hmm. it's in the Bible. What he posted the, the the reference the video reference that goes that that video goes into it. But that's what ultimately we were out there. Read the next verse, verse ten. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came unto them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. So this is we are God's army. And us waking up, coming back, and keeping God's laws, marrying marrying the women that we sleep with, not not sleeping with them first and then testing it out. No, we're marrying our wives, having children, taking care of our children. Right. We we coming up, stopping selling drugs to our people, stopping going to the Christian church where the, where they are um, uh, exhorting ex, extorting extorting our, the members for money, mm. taking tithes. That's not that when you read scripturally. Tithes is not money. And tithes was the, for the Levitical priesthood. Right. So we're we come in, we waking we waking up out of those things and standing up when when you when it says an exceeding great army. So what you're seeing at the Barclay scene is a, is a portion of that exceeding great army waking up. And that great this great army, our weapon is the God's laws, this mm -hmm. Bible. We're not we're not raising up and, and, and getting arms and trying to go to war physically. No. Right. That's not our battle. Our battle is the hearts and minds of our people so that they can return unto the commandments. They can return unto their God. Mm. They tried mm. to downplay the numbers of the brothers that was out there. Now, I bid everyone who's listening to go ahead and try to <clears> Google or look up on YouTube, um, IUIC, uh, Surround the Barclay Center. It was a sight to see. It were people taking pictures. People were, like, amazed that it was these many brothers that was in uniform. It was in... I mean, it, it was to support another brother, and it was downplayed, and it didn't get much coverage. A lot of people didn't even know about it. Something like that never gets um, coverage. Why do you think uh, that is? Why it doesn't get coverage? The media doesn't cover. I mean, it, it, it doesn't get. Like I say, it got downplayed with the numbers. So, it, so the thing is, um, it it got downplayed, but it really didn't get downplayed. Because when it, during the time that thing those things were going on, if you went on Twitter, um, think it, it was reaching the billions. The numbers were they was climbing. Too, they the, went the, high. Just people looking up Hebrew, the, the different words. The numbers were climbing. So with we've had marches, uh, we've Memphis. had marches in Memphis, Chicago, Chicago in 2019. Memphis, I believe we did 2018, 2018. 2020. Detroit. We did Detroit. I think this year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last year I. I can't remember. Philly. We, we, yeah, we last did year we no we didn't do. We didn't do that. Right. But we did marches after marches, and they never get coverage. And the media be the media is out there, but it never gets coverage. Right. 
But the Barclays Center, you couldn't, ha you can't hide that. You can't hide that. They said it was up. Could you confirm, if you will, the numbers? Uh, what do you not know? Now we don't disclose our numbers, but it was it was it was several hundreds. Yeah, okay. we we'll say it like that. Cause they tried to say it was maybe a hundred, but it was um, more. It was that. It was more than that. No, no, we appreciate that. Why do they? Why do you think they they say that he is being anti-Semitic? Say it again. Could you de could you define what anti-Semitic is for those for our listeners who don't know what that word means and why he was claim to in his remarks to be anti-semitic i think uh, i'm sorry I, I think he had a script real quick we'll okay go ahead. ahead okay uh going going back to that uh question the initial question you asked this is uh revelations 12 and 17. let me know when you're ready for it no you can bring it up uh <clears throat> the book of uh, book of revelations chapter 12 and verse 17. Uh -huh. and the dragon was wroth with uh -huh. the woman uh -huh. and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So your question was why um, they didn't get they didn't get a lot of media coverage. Although we went out there and we went out there with a large number of men, but they tried to downplay us. Right here is letting you know why. Read it again. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. Uh huh. The woman is the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel in this parable. Read. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. So they got a, they have a war tactic mindset on how they approach us. They don't want to, they don't, they, in their mind, they thinking that, hey, look, if we downplay the numbers, if we don't give them no media coverage, no one to know about this truth. No one to know about what they actually out here doing. That's the mindset because it is a media blackout on the Israelites. Mm -hmm. You understand? All the stuff we do, we've been doing over the years, decades of years, even before I was even in it, it's been going on. But they've been trying to hide it and sweep it under the rug. And that is a war tactic for our people, a spiritual war tactic for us not to wake up into this truth. Because once we do that, it's a, it's a it's a um, it's a great reward for us, and they know that. But read on. Which keep the commandments of God? Because uh, that's and what we was out there teaching: take care of our wives and our women. You know what I'm saying? We that's what we out there uh, marching. We 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 send those words out. You understand? Know those are commandments of God, and they got they they angry. Read. And have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Uh huh. So it said, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. And that's what we're going out there teaching our people. So this is why they don't cover cover us because they they rough and they um that's a, a war tactic of them. So you can understand. Yeah. All right. That's very good, bro. Uh, the question again that you uh, he, he was claimed to be the words that he was using. A lot of those organizations and sponsors and. Friends were saying that he's being anti-Semitic. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, there are those who don't even now know what that word means. Could you explain what anti-Semitic is? And and then why do you think he was being, if he was using words that he was expressing, how is that being used as being anti-Semitic? Okay. So what you see on the... Um well, the, the, dealing with the word anti-Semitic, when you're anti anything, you're against, you're against it. Mm -hmm. So, Semitic, in the, in the scriptures, sem, Semitic is would be Shemitic, okay, which is our forefather. So they say anti-Semitic. The 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 true definition of the term would be meaning that you're against all of the nations that come from the family of Shem. Right. Mm. But what they changed it to mean is a prejudice towards the Jewish people that that, that the Israelis that live in Israel now. Right. Oh. So they've changed the meaning of the term. Mm -hmm. When ultimately, when you look, if you, if you when you look at the um, trying to find, we have a uh, a file that actually shows the Semitic families. When you look at the families that's of Shem, you have Abraham, which is our forefather. You're going through our lineage. You have Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, which Jacob's name was changed to uh, Israel. And then also you do have the so-called the so-called white man, which is from the lineage, from, which was Jacob's brother, Jacob's twin brother, which yeah. is Isaac. So we, if you really want to uh, coin the term. 
We're got, all from the families of Shem. I got the definition right but too. But even when they speak against us, that's also anti-Semitic. In the true right. definition of the term. Yes. But that's not what's doing. What they've done is twisted. You got it? Yeah, you got I got the definition. definition yep. Is this from they style? Right. Yeah, that's from... So this is the uh, definition of the word Semitic. It says, relating to or denoting a family of language that include Hebrew, Arabic, or Aramaic, and certain ancient languages such as Phoenician and Akkadian, constituting the main subgroup of the Afro-Asiatic family. Mm. Read, read it again. Okay, Semitic. Relating to or denoting the family of languages that includes Hebrew, Arabic, May, and certain and certain ancient languages such as Phoenician and Akkadian, consulting the main sub subgroup of the Afro Asiatic family. So it says of the Afro Asiatic family. Let you know that we are Shem. So right. there's no way. The things that we speak are biblical. Right. There's no mm. even even saying from Hebrews to Negroes, that's biblical. That's right. biblical. We went into when you examine Deuteronomy twenty eight, we went into slavery, we went into captivity, we're scattered across the nations because of our sins, because of us breaking God's commandments. That's why we are in the state that we're in. Right. But mm. right like right now, uh get Deuteronomy twenty eight. All right. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 28, read verse 15. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and the 15th verse. Because when you when you examine it, when you examine everything that's going on, um, I don't follow basketball, but when you see you've seen kind of, you've seen Ye, he was in he was he went to Christianity. Right. But nothing was said. Mm-hmm. He, I think he started a church or something. Yes, he sure did. He was doing yeah. those things. Nothing, nothing was said. Mm -hmm. They didn't mess with his bank accounts. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. They didn't mess with his shoe deals or nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Kyrie Irving, I believe, he went he, uh, on Ramadan. Mm -hmm. was Muslim. They didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. But the minute he said, he, he, just, he didn't say nothing. He, didn't say he just, he just tweeted, tweeted the movie, tweeted. the link to the movie. Right. Yes. Hebrews to Bring Negroes. Yep. And, and, uh, every just everything went haywire, just because he tweeted that. That lets you know, okay, why, why is it such a big deal yeah. of this? Because he has a following, he has a, over a billion followers. So him tweeting that is reaching all of these mm. people that's following him, and that's gonna tweet their man. Oh, I wonder what this is. Right, and remember, so that, remember what we said earlier that it's a media blackout on the on the Israelites. A media blackout. They don't want this the truth to get out. Mm -hmm. They do not want the truth of us being the, the true Israelites, the true chosen of God, people of God, mm -hmm. to get out. And they know, like the officer was saying, with that large mass platform he got, it can get out, spread more, e more uh, fast, more easier. Mm -hmm. That's why, like he was, like he going over what he going over. Go ahead. I just wanted to make that point. Deuteronomy twenty-eight and fifteen. Yeah, the, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight and the fifteenth verse. It says. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is Moses letting the Israelites know, if you don't keep God's commandments that, I'm, that, I've, been, that I've been assigned to give you, then bad things are going to happen unto you. These bad things are going to come on you. Uh, read verse 37. Verse 37. This is one of the curses. One of those bad things that happened to us. Verse 37. <clears throat> verse 37. It says, And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword amongst all nations, whether the Lord lead thee. So it says you're going to become an astonishment. Astonishment is when you look in, when you look in our communities. When when other nations go through our communities, they well, why, why why is it so filthy on the streets? Why are they shooting each other down? That's an astonishment because we kill each other. We we day in and day out we kill kill a brother that looks just like us. Right. We hate the brother that looks just like us. We we beefing with the brother that looks just like us, like as if we different people. That's an astonishment. And it says uh, a proverb. That's those wise sayings. Uh, 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 black men don't take care of their children. Right. Black men lazy. 
Ah, uh, what's some other ones? They always late. Always late. These are all proverbs. It's sad to say a lot of them are true, but why? It's tr it's, we like that because we've been destroyed as a nation. We've been destroyed as a people. We've been beat down. Uh, then it says, and the byword. A byword is us being called anything outside of our God-given name. We are the Israelites, but we call ourselves nigga. Uh, if we if we go if you go African American, African -American Afro, -American, Afro -American, American, our Asiatic. nationality of Asiatic black man, right. Afro American. That's nowhere we in the Bible. So, nowhere in the Bible. Those names we have are in the Bible. So many. Uh, get Isaiah sixty-five and uh, fifteen. We have so many names that we uh, that's coined upon us. Right. But when you go look at the Bible, it's like okay, there's no nation called black. Right. There's no nation called African American. Amen. So we've been we've been dumbed down mm. to where even sometimes you call you ask, we ask somebody hey what's your nationality I'm a Christian so we we call ourselves everything outside of our God given name read right. that what you ask sixty five and fifteen the book of Isaiah chapter sixty five and the fifteenth verse yeah, yeah sixty five fifteen all right it says and ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay thee and call thy servants by another name. So this is saying that same thing more clear. We call ourselves by any other name other than our God-given name. We are the Israelites. Right. And that's what's coming. That's what you see coming out. Like we read, what you see coming out is tr you see truth coming out of the earth, springing right. out of the earth. You can't, you can't, uh, you can't refute it for one. And you can't stop it because this mm. is, this is what God has designed to come out. It was it was the Most High God that moved Ye that moved yep. Kyrie to post what they posted, not not for the elect for those that that actually are seeking the truth, seeking a way out of their situation. They tweeted that, and now those people, a lot of those people, they seen the Barclay, they calling, hey, I want to learn more. Right. And this is this is a, a, what you would call a great awakening, so to say. Get uh, Revelation two and nine real quick. Revelation 2 and 9. Yeah. Right, I'm there whenever you're ready. Read. The book of Revelations, chapter 2, and the ninth verse. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. I mean, so this is this is um the message to us. It mm -hmm. said, I know I know thy works. I know all the works that you put in and you ain't get you ain't getting no retribution. I know you built you built America. Right. But you ain't getting no credit for it. Mm -hmm. And it says, in tribulation, he knows the tribulation that we, we go through, deaths, death, deaths, um, diseases, all type of stuff that we go through in our communities. We, we get the gang violence from every, everything. That's our tribulation and poverty. We are, we are the, um, they coin us the minority. We're not the minority. That's a, another thing that's falsified. Right. But it says that poverty. We are the ones that's living in the slums. You go to Gary, Indiana. You go through there, houses all board up. You go through our neighborhoods, and it looks terrible. Right. It, 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 like in the city of Chicago, you could be on the south side, and it looks terrible. Houses boarded up, trash everywhere. And then as soon as you transition to Chinatown or Hyde Park or, Hyde Park or another area, everything just immediately changes. We are the ones that's in poverty. You have, a, you have sprinkles of us that may live in a better community, but as a, as a whole, as a nation... Nationwide, worldwide, we are always at the bottom. But that's because a curse. We we lost our we lost we lost our um we've lost our direction, so to say. Mm -hmm. We've lost our, our connection with our God because we stopped keeping the commandments. Read that, read on. It said, But thou art rich, meaning this is this is why we are rich, because we are God's children. And when we keeping this when we keep, when we return, when we repent and return to keeping his commandments, we are rich because then the most high God is gonna Back us. He's gonna he gonna be back. He gonna he gonna have our back like a father will have have his son back because we doing what's pleasing to him. Right. Read. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So the Most High is very clear. He says he know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews. They've been the the so called Jewish. They've been saying they 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 the Jews for the longest. And then when we say it, it's. It's, it's, it's a black, it's a media blackout, things of that nature. It says, I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. They are the synagogue of Satan. They are not the real Jews. Right. 
they 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 like you. I think you said that y'all been doing a series of of uh, stolen identity. Stolen identity. identity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's identity theft. Even yes. the the image, the the white image of Jesus Christ. Right. That's identity theft. Right. Mm-hmm. And that that the the whole purpose of that image is to have us looking at the, the looking at the white man as our superior. Right. So that that's it. And everywhere we go. And and I was a, I was guilty of that. Because I was in the Christ, I was in Christianity, and I was blind to prejudices that was right in my face. Right. Because mm-hmm. God loves everybody. Right. But once I came aware of the truth, I seen like, nah, yes. this is evident that they treat me different. I'm in the line at I'm in the line at a grocery store, and I'm standing there. Then the, the person in front of me is is a so called white person, and they get they get all the the greeting. They get the greeting. Oh, do you want to donate? Oh, here's a receipt. And then I walk up. It's like, no greeting, no nothing. It's, it's just, do, yeah. do, mm. do. and sometimes it's sad. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it comes from my own people. Mm. But when I was in Christianity, I turned the blind. Oh, maybe they're having a bad day. Mm. And that's that's what we would that's what we would talk in Christianity, because we were we was rolling in a subservient role. But once I came open to know, that's prejudice. That's this person. They treating me like that because I'm because I'm I'm black and they white. They treat me like that because they prejudiced. Mm-hmm. They racist. In 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 lamest terms. But in Christianity, you're taught that everybody God loves everybody, so that God loves everybody, but they always got the upper hand. Right. Mm-hmm. And you you in Christianity, you blinded and you taught you really in essence you taught to hate your people. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You you're not told to, to uplift your people. You're told to hate your people and love everybody. So would that mean that the Christian church do doing our people a disservice? They're doing a very a very huge disservice to our people because the, the main disservice is that they're not teaching us the one they're not teaching us identity, who we are, according to the Bible, that this Bible is our history book and they're not teaching us God's laws. Mm-hmm. And the important that, that's the thing. The, 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 the importance of imagery and, and, and historic facts that you guys are bringing out. How how important do you guys think? Oh, well, you obviously, you know, you guys take your your, your uh, what you do really serious. So. I mean, with most of our people don't make that a priority. It's the same thing because this is a a so called Christian nation, and they they teach that uh, all religions are welcome, everybody's equal. Right. God created everybody. He he made even the man and the woman equal. Everything is is everything is portrayed as equal, which is actually a witchcraft, because everything is everything that's said is saying all. Oh, we everybody's equal. We all created in God's image and everything. Blah, blah, blah. But when you examine a city, we the ones that's at the bottom. Bring it down, mm-hmm. yes, sir. We the ones that's from city to city, state to state, country to country. We the ones that got the short end of the stick. No that's matter right. where you go, we got mm-hmm. the shortest end of the stick. Because a lot of people would say, "Well, you got you got the white people that live in a white trailer home." No, you can't compare that to the, to the, the turmoil that we've been through. Over the lifetime that we've been in America, that we've been scattered, you you can't come. It's not. It's no comparison. Get that in. Um, mm. Dang they do around me seven to six. But you said, what's the importance of it? Because a lot of one of the, the things that's one of the one of the questions you said, what's the importance of us knowing our our heritage? The the main thing is because most of us walk around, we have a very low self esteem. Right. We don't believe that we don't believe in ourselves. That's why you that's why you get 
the young men on the streets shooting and killing each other because they don't see no value in each other. They don't see no value in themselves. So yet, if, if we see your brother, you don't see them no value. You're not gonna see no value in them because you don't even value yourself. You don't even value your own life. A lot of y'all, our young men are out there so bad where well, they don't even care about dying. Mm -hmm. They 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 packing or whatever you want to call it. They don't even care that their life is at stake every t every day they walk out the house. Yes. They just they and they man they just uh, going at the ops and all of these things. They don't even recognize that you just you acting out genocide, and that's the the trick. Cause at one point we were being hung and murdered yeah. and killed, but we were turned against each other. So now we're we're doing the killing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have the you have the situations where the police is shooting us down and things like that. But the vast majority of the killings is coming from us killing one another. And the sad part about that, too, is our young men, especially like in the states and in the inner cities of Chicago, and they, they, man, they mentality and they mind, they is expecting not to even see 20. Mm -hmm. Like, they have a mindset, like, we, we ain't going to be 20, 21 anyway, so, mm -hmm. you know, YOLO. You yep. only live once, let me do right. what I need to do. They don't think that they're going to have a, uh, they don't think they're going to see 21. So, with that type of mentality, you really living like an animal or something. Living to die. You living to die. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With that type of mentality, it's a, it's, it's, it's scary. It's and it's a taught. cycle. It's yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's all we've been taught. Mm -hmm. You have to read that. It's uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and the 6th verse. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. There's no equality in this verse. So you read the, just read reading this verse from a perspective of, okay, I don't know nothing about the Bible. Obviously, whoever this Bible was written to, it says, Thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord chose you to be a special people above all people that's on the face of the earth. That don't speak. Everybody was created equal. Everybody was made. And, no, that don't speak that. Nope. Mm. That speaks the exact opposite. So now you have to find out, okay, who is this people mm -hmm. that he talking about? And when you examine, when you go through, when we go through Deuteronomy 28, the, we go, so God, let me see, read verse 7. Verse 7, the Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you because you were more in number than any, any people. For ye were fewest of all people. And when the Most High chose us, when he told Abraham that his, his seed was going to be a, a mighty nation, right? it was just Abraham. Mm -hmm. And it's, it was, it, it, we didn't, it wasn't a nation yet. It was nations that was already established prior to us coming on the scene as Israel. But he said, I didn't, he said, I loved you. And that nation is us. When we go to Deuteronomy 28. Mm. Oh, the the importance of it. We that's that's a when you when you hear that, I know for me when I when I came to the understanding and acknowledged that this is talking about me, that was a self esteem booster. It made me stand up straight. So it's important. It's important for us to know who we are because if, if we don't know who we are, we're gonna be, be blindly chasing chasing after the American dream, right? Chasing after things that don't pertain to us, mm -hmm. and it's never gonna be for. It's never gonna it's be never. a fulfillment. Mm -hmm. It's always like uh, it's a it's saying that always goes. It's like a, a hole in your heart or something like that. I can't remember the exact saying, but we're gonna always be searching void. We're and search. Always, always gonna be a void in our mind because it's never gonna be enough. Because what we need is God's laws. That's right. That's what fill fills that void. That's the only thing that's gonna fill that that's void. It. Mm -hmm. So everything else we're gonna do, like you, you, um, you, and it's been many accounts where you have the the the, the rich and famous where they have all that money. But then when you examine their lives, it's jacked up. They mm -hmm. strung out on crap. They strung out on drugs. Dwayne Wade, for an example. Mm -hmm. Like when you look yeah. at when you examine like brothers like Dwayne Wade, and I ain't not speaking bad on them, but when you examine brothers like Will Smith, Will Smith Dwayne Wade, mm -hmm. they are great at their craft, but when you examine their life, their children are, you know what I'm saying? Going in a disarray, their family is in this, disarray because this of the void he's going into. The void, it's always a void there. So go ahead, though. I just wanted to make that quick point. Right. Um, and what was the other part of the question? You said yeah, was why, why, why um, we are taught, um, and, and it's seemingly only us, though, are taught to, the, you know, to just, you know, ignore, you know, your history. Ignore. It, it doesn't matter. Psalms 81. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 
it's all by design. It's not it's not no coincidence that we are at the bottom and we when we say things, it's always downplayed. It's always uh made light upon. Mm-hmm. Because it, it the, it's 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 witchcraft. I think we were I think was it what the was it it was a class I was watching and they played a video, um can't think of the name of it, but it was a video, it's a video out there, it's an older video where it talk yes. about T V yes. programming. Yeah. Where everything that you see on the TV, and I remember when I was growing up, you had the Bugs Bunny. Mm-hmm. You, as from a child, you watching these things, Bugs Bunny, uh, Elma Fudd, and all that with Bugs Bunny put on the lipstick, and Bugs mm-hmm. Bunny is supposed to be a, a male, a man, mm-hmm. but he put on lipstick and go and kiss Elma Fudd. All of that, all of that was programming for what we see now. It's desensitizing you too, because it was a time where brothers was on a down low. It was mm-hmm. hidden when brothers was uh, homo and things like that. But now it's, it's just acceptable. now it's wrong to speak against it. Right, yeah, it's acceptable. All it's acceptable mm-hmm. when the Bible speaks against it. it says mm-hmm. that uh, in, Le- in Leviticus there should be no sodomites of the, of the sons of Israel. Mm-hmm. So we've been desensitized by the programming, the TV, the TV program. Right. I think the best of the video was going into how it's called programming for a reason. Television it's, 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 programming. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's witchcraft. Yeah. It plays on your mind. And I know I tell my children all the time, a lot of, a lot of these um, little cartoons where they have, they have the, the, the pig, the dog, the cat, um, the, the rabbit rolling together in a pack. When that's against nature. Mm-hmm. Right. That's programming. Program. That's desensitizing you. And it's, it's, it's subtle. Yeah, because it's animals, but it's really, it's really trying to paint the picture that it's that all nations are supposed to be together, right. all religions are supposed to be together, and we're supposed to work together with everybody. But mm-hmm. that goes against the Bible. Right. So in in essence, if you look at the the, the true term of Christianity, this not a Christian nation because that's not what the Bible teaches. That's not what the Bible teaches. Read that. What I had you get Psalm eighty one. Psalm eighty one. Yep. Where you want to start at? Uh, start at verse one. It's the book of Psalms, 81 and verse 1. Sing aloud unto God our strength. 83 and 1. 83. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. Uh huh. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. So it says, lo, thine enemies make a tumult, meaning uh, God's enemies are the heathen nations, all of the nations outside of Israel. It says, thine enemies make a tumult. That's an angry gathering. Mm hmm. Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They that hate God, they have lifted up their head. They have become arrogant. They think that their nation gonna last forever. They think that they gonna rule and reign and do and and, and have us in captivity forever. Yep. Like their kingdom's never gonna end. These this it's a reason all these nuclear bombs are created and they mm-hmm. haven't been popped off. They they being reserved for that day of judgment. Mm-hmm. When the most high say now is the time. This nation going. This nation is going up. Just like that, that bomb they dropped on Hiroshima, mm-hmm. that's gonna come. That's gonna come to this nation, and that's mm-hmm. that's what the Bible says. But read on. Prophesied. Verse three, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hitting ones. So this is what this is what we see going on. That's the media blackout. That's the media blackout. They have mm-hmm. taken crafty counsel against thy people. Once we start waking up and we start letting letting it be known that we are the Israelites. This is our book. Oh, you know, they're hate, they hate they're anti Semitic. Oh, they're a hate group. They with the situation there was a um a situation that happened with two two people, I think they was actually actually Muslims. Right. They shot they yes. shot and killed. They went into a um a Jewish restaurant and shot and killed the, the owner and the like two people that was in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they, they pinned it, they they automatically pinned it as them being Hebrew Israelites. They call them black Hebrew Israelites. But that wasn't even the case. The people that need, didn't even have a connection to being, I think they were actually Muslims. Yeah, Muslims. They but they tried to, they they tried the, to they coin the it. They tried to wow. coin it on us. us. So that when people see us in the street, they are, they are people. Not, not none of the other nations. It's our people when they see us. Oh, no, nah, y'all a hate group. Right. They coin it. That's, that's all crafty counsel to try to downplay it so that our people don't wake up. That's all crap. Even even recently, I think in, it was in New York as well. Mm-hmm. It was a um, a, a son of a, a Jewish father and his son. They got shot with a pellet gun, 
a guy who drove past in the car and he got shot recent. with a pellet gun. Yeah, yeah, that was more recent. recent. It was like probably last month. Yeah. He shot them with a pellet gun and then when when the police caught him and asked him, he said, Oh, I'm a Hebrew. But then when you look at the image of who actually did it, it was a so called it was a white it was a so called white man. Mm. But he said, Oh, I'm Hebrew. So automatically if you just say that and there was a, a interview on the Breakfast Club where they had the, the leader of the ADL on there. And he mentioned it and said that he, they, they try to make it seem like what we teach um, puts the, put that type of spirit on people to go out and commit crimes. When we don't advocate violence, you don't never see any Not you one don't, video. We don't advocate we don't advocate violence at all. And I'm gonna actually read our um, disclaimer that we we have. Because we, we don't, the, the scriptures don't tell us to go out and take up arms and, and shoot the Jewish people because they took our heritage. No, that's not what the Bible tells us to do. We're going to go into that too. Um, let's see, it says, we are, we are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel United in Christ is a nonviolent Bible based movement. We do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity, or gender. We advise if, if anyone hears or knows of any plots to cause harm to anyone or to break the laws of the land, you must contact the proper authorities to bring awareness to any possible threat, as stated in Leviticus chapter 5 and 1. So doing those things goes against God's commandments, and that's not what we're about. How will we be trying to uplift our people by teaching them God's laws and, and his commandments, but then at the same time telling our people to go out and commit crimes? That goes against the scriptures. Mm-hmm. That may that would make us no different than the Christian church. Right. Amen. To, to to direct our people away from the God's law. That's not what we about. Give me that in a uh, hold this in Psalm thirty three. Give me that in um. I think it's in Romans thirteen. Be, be at peace yep. with all men. Thirteen to one. Because what we what our we teach the Bible. We teach God's laws. That's our aim. That's our goal. We're not about. Uh, hatred towards another. No, we about our people. That's what we. That's what we about. We love our people, and we want them to wake up. We want them to come out of the harsh conditions, mm-hmm. and we trying to get out of here. We in captivity. Mm-hmm. Whether whether our people know it or not, we are in captivity. We still in the land that we was brought brought over from the west coast of Africa, and and picking cotton and all of those things. We 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 still in that same land. Yeah. Just because we ain't got chains on our necks, we're still in captivity. Yeah. We're still we're captive. Right Go ahead, though. You got it? Yeah, uh, Romans. Romans 13 and verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. So we understand that the power of the, the police officers from the government, all of that is ordained of God. So the laws that set forth in this land, we follow. As long as it don't go against God's commandments, we follow it. It's more on that, too, if you want to read uh, verse 2 Whosoever therefore resist the power Resists the ordinance of God So if you resist we teach our, if, if we were to teach our people to resist that, that the, the, the authorities that set up We'd be going against What the scriptures say And that's not our aim Our aim is to teach our people to keep the commandments That's right Because it's no benefit to us for, To go out and commit crimes That makes That would make, that's make That would make us hypocrites And right. that's not what we're about We're about God's laws when the upliftment of our people. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 12, and the 25th verse. It says, And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every <clears throat> excuse me. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Why will we why will we undo what we're trying to do? Why would we go we go against everything we're trying to teach? That would break us. That would break us down and turn us backwards back into the situation we're trying to get out of. Right. That don't make no sense. So it's, it's beneficial for us to understand that. And let's go back to Psalms eighty three. The Book of Psalms eighty three and verse three. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. So a lot of the laws that's passed and a lot of laws that's set up. It's a, it's actually against us. It's to keep us in sin, and it's it's it's, it's say crafty for a reason. 
the billboard you you see the billboards with the you ride on the expressway you got these billboards with the strip clubs and the adult stores and all right. of these things all of these vile things yeah yeah it's a, it's a it's many nations here but all of that stuff is set up to keep us in sin because the nations know the nations the higher ups in, in in these nations they know that when we start keeping God's commandments their kingdom is coming to an end right um read on verse 4 they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So the, the goal, the whole overall goal was for them to cut us off from being a nation. And that's what happened. That's why we're here today calling ourselves Afro-American, African-American, Negroes, G's, foes. We call ourselves everything under the sun but the nation of Israel. Read on. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And we so far gone from the name of Israel when we tell our people, you know, you are Israelite. No, I'm a Christian. No, you are Israelite. No, that's not that's not who I am. I'm a Gentile. Because we so far they they cut us they cut us they cut us so far from the the umbilical cord for for to they cut us so far away from our uh, umbilical our connection to God. That we don't even realize it, and we 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 readily accept these other names that's given us given to us and coined on right. mm -hmm. when they have nothing to do with us. Uh, is that it on that? Uh, it's more. Read on. Verse five: For they have consulted together with one consent that the they are confederate against thee, uh -huh. the tabernacles of Edom. That's the so-called white man. The Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites. That's the Arab man. Of Moab. That's the Chinese. And the Hagarines. That's the Africans. Gabal and Ammon and Amalek. That's the uh, Egyptians. Excuse me. No, the Ammon is the, Ammon is the uh, Japanese. And Amalek. Amalek is the Jewish people. The, Jew, the Israelis that's living in our land right now. The Philistines. More Africans. With the inhabitants of Tyre. The Africans. So all of the nations are working together. To keep us in a lower state. Mm. Because they understand that when we are not keeping the commandments, the Most High God is not going to fight for us. The Most right. High God is not going to back us. So when we keep the commandments, when we, when we keep in the commandments, the Most High God is going to fight for us. So that's, the, that's the, what you see in the media, the media blackouts. They don't want our people to under, know, come to know and understand that this Bible is our history book. They want to keep them under the programming that they've programmed them with. But... This is God's program, so it, it's there's no stop. It really ain't no stopping it. No, right. you want to do the five? Yeah, we read that too. There, there's no, you can't stop because everybody. A lot, a lot of people say oh, we believe in a higher power and things. That, yeah, it's a higher power. It's the Most High God. It's our God, mm -hmm. and you can't stop the prophecy. You can't stop what He has already said, and His word is gonna happen. Mm -hmm. um, Judah five and twenty. Yeah. The book of Judith, chapter 5 and the 20th verse. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their God. So this is one of the subordinates speaking to his general and he letting them know. Read it, read it from the top again. And therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people. So he and said they, if there be any error in this people. And speaking of us, if there be any error or sin in this people, read and they sin against their God. Uh -huh. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. So they know that when we break in God's commandment, it's mm -hmm. gonna be our ruin. We gonna be, we gonna be cut off. We gonna they gonna be able to overtake us because uh -huh. we're not. We don't have the backing of our God. Read. Right. Let us go up, and we shall overcome them. But if there be so no, they said, so, so they said, if they in sin, hey, let's go get them. Let's go overcome them because they God ain't with them. They breaking his commandments. They're not doing what he said to do. Mm -hmm. So let's go get them. Read. But if there be no iniquity in their nation. But if there's no iniquity, if there's no sin in us, meaning we're keeping the commandments. Read. Let my Lord now pass by. He say, just pass them by because we're not going to win. Let mm. the Lord defend them and their God for and their God be for them. And we become a reproach before the world. Meaning they, they the nations knew. That when we were keeping the commandments to leave us alone because the most high, the most, there was testimonies of the most high destroying nations right. on behalf of us because right. we was, we his son, we his, the nation of Israel is God's son. Mm. We are his children. So when we doing what he said to do, you better just move out the way. 
Right. Because <laughs> if you don't move, you, what, what, what's with that term? What's that? Um, roll, roll or get rolled over or yeah. something like that. Let's get down or and get lay down. You, yeah, so when we keep in the commandments, hey, you better just move out the way. Right. Mm-hmm. Because the most high God is going to fight for us. And they know that to this day, actually. Yeah. That's why they go the links to what they go through to keep the truth from being put out there. Right. They still know that. that and the proof of them knowing that is how they castrated our brother Kyrie for just a tweet. Yeah. That's the this here is the proof that they actually know that because mm-hmm. they knew they know the history on Nick us. Nick Cannon before that. Nick Cannon before yep. that. Mm-hmm. Jackson. Deshaun Ice Jackson. Cube. Ice Cube. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They know these things, and the people that got huge platforms, they like, no, you can't do that. That's against everything we've established. Yeah. We keeping y'all. Remember, we in Psalms 83 it said that they was confederate against us, and they wanted to cut us off from being a nation. That's what they doing to this very day. That's still in play. So when we, when brothers with large platforms go out and put the truth out there, they like no. And then they 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 um they do all they go through all sorts of matters to destroy these people that does that. Yeah. So that you see how you see the correlation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. I've been wanting to ask this, brother. You hitting it dead on what we've been talking about for the last what, few months, mm. dealing with white supremacy coming into church, coming into religion, even trying to block, roadblock people from miseduc- miseducated educators teaching on the scriptures mm-hmm. and how that's been used historically to keep us from knowing, from reading, from studying. They said, if you want to mm-hmm. keep something away from black people, put it in the book. Right. right. Well, the book is what the Bible. Right. Mm-hmm. And so historically, how white supremacy even the con- when it goes back to the Constitution, mm-hmm. those who brought the Constitution had their own slaves. Mm-hmm. We would even consider, consider human beings right. when they brought the Constitution. But this brings this to the forefront. White supremacy has done a number on religion, has done a lit. Has done- <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. His word.